Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. In the sweltering heat, it is hot. I just got out of Walmart. I did not bring my camera into Walmart because I wanted it to be quick. And it was pretty quick. I really, you know, just stuck to my list and I wasn't able to get a couple of things. Solid white tuna. They did have it in the Starkist brand. But man, it was almost two bucks for just a little can, so I didn't want to bother. And I did pick up those uh, hard-boiled, already peeled eggs. They're not pickled, but I pickled them. I put them in a container with uh, vinegar when I get home, and they're so yummers. And they went up. They were two nineteen when I bought them the last time. I was with you guys. Now they're two fifty four, so that's over five dollars for a dozen eggs. But I still rather pay that. The eggs here are about four bucks a dozen. I'll pay the extra dollar to not have to cook those things. Ugh. So um, yeah, I ended up spending just a tiny bit over a hundred dollars, a hundred and change. I bought three twelve packs of soda. It's just seltzer with nothing. There's nothing except lime flavor, but no sugars, no sweeteners of any kind. That's the kind I drink. I usually have one a day, if that. And um, I picked up three 12 packs and I'm going to drop one off at Derek's. Uh, picked up one steak. I haven't been keeping steak in the freezer. I am so addicted to my hamburger patties. All the room in my freezer is for hamburger patties. I even got a box of 32 hamburger patties for my birthday from Derek and Skyler. <laughs> I was very happy about that. But lately when I come to the store, I'll pick up one steak and uh, yeah, uh, you know, I, I just go through phases like that where I want to eat more of one thing than the other. The hamburger patties are so incredibly convenient. Don't even have to slice steak or anything like that. So that's what I did. And now um, I thought I would record again. I recorded a video yesterday, early evening, did all the recording, all the editing, and then just decided I did not want to upload it. I tried doing a crumb chat. I was sitting at my sewing machine, just sewing crumbs, putting crumbs together for my own pleasure. And by doing that, I did find my two boxes of crumbs, well, I knew where they were, that I brought from Maine. And in one of those boxes, there was a bag with, I think, seven uh, five inch crumb blocks that I had made. I used to make them just so I could have, uh, you know, so I could have the pleasure of making crumb blocks, but I have no use for them. And then I would put those on eBay uh, for a penny and as a starting bid. And uh, I have seven that I brought from Maine. So I need to make uh, an eighth one and then I can have a set. I think I used to do just four at a time. I don't know. Maybe I was doing eight. All I know is that I, I just, I, my whole chat with you guys while doing that was very depressing. And I decided to not uh, publish it. <laughs> I was like, no, this is just, yeah. And I know what it is, is that I, uh, today is my one year anniversary of signing the lease for the apartment that I'm in. September 18, 2021 is when I signed it and I didn't actually get to move into it until the very end of November. And so I had to pay, you know, rent for a few months, but I had to rent it. I had to rent it. I knew I wanted to move and I had to rent it even though we weren't quite ready to move yet. So I wanted to be in Derek's complex and I am. And the thing is, is that what I was trying to say in my video last night is that I, you know, I don't talk about it as much, but you know, I'm basically not happy, <laughs> but I don't want people to think, and it was coming across like it was because I was living here in Mississippi. It's not that I would not have been happy staying in Maine. I, I am just a lost child is what I feel like. 
and I don't feel like this is home, but there was nothing in Maine for me either, you know? I did not want to stay in that house that was falling apart around me. You guys just know how that house was weighing heavily on me. Cannot believe it sold. My rental property sold first, and then that. I mean, such a weight lifted. And I did not want to just get an apartment in Sanford because I just wanted, I don't know, I just wanted to get away from all the memories, just all the memories. But you know, the memories just follow. And now I'm here with all the memories of my whole wasted life. And I say that, um, you know, literally, I was a drunk for a very long time and I regret that so much. And then, you know, I just regret, I just regret the way I lived my life. I didn't make good choices. Gee, I thought I could pull forward there so I don't have to back up, but I can't. Oh, people, leave me alone. <laughs> like they're intentionally trying to bother me by pulling into park. I don't want to continue talking about this because I'm going to end up being depressing again. But it's just, um... It's not how I imagined my life would turn out. Like when I was a child and I had high hopes and dreams. <laughs> It just never happened the way I expected. And I just feel um, so out of place. I really do. And that won't just magically happen. You know, I'm not going to all of a sudden be like, oh, I love this place so much. Now, I, I only know what I knew for many, many years. And now there's more peace in my life. But yet I've found so many things to worry about to replace the toxicity and the stuff that I was going through. There's always a way for me to keep myself feeling completely miserable and like shit. So isn't that, isn't that lovely? Such a inspirational chat, uplifting, huh? <laughs> and you know, I do have some friends uh, I go to the library for this art class. I had only done it like I think three times and then I had to miss it. It's just once a month. I had to miss it in July because I was in Maine in August. They have none of that. They just regroup and they try to figure out what they're going to do. And I think I had told you that I was going to go to a trivia night and I was a little chicken and then there was something that came up that I think I had the opportunity to either pick Skylar up somewhere or bring her somewhere. I can't remember, but it was very easy to twist my arm and say, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to trivia night. But I did go to the class, uh, craft class, arts and crafts, uh, this past Thursday. And I specifically asked about trivia night. And the woman that I sit next to, uh, usually, she also wanted to know. And she was like, uh, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it's like, so I hesitate going. And I said, me too. And so uh, we're, we decided we're going to probably try to go to the next one. And if I know she's going, that will help me to go. And I think it could be fun. There's like a general trivia, and then there's like specific trivia. Like she said, one of them was, what's, what's the thing? What is it called? The guy with the round glasses. I don't even know. That's how much I know nothing about it. It's a movie series that everybody knows. I just know that kid with the round glasses. And um, I can't believe I can't think of it. So I would not do well in trivia for that. But, you know, I think I will try it. And then they started a class on once a month on a Tuesday. So that's two once a month classes. I'm going to go to both of those when I can, which uh, those I really try hard. Like I won't make a, a dental appointment or anything like that on my Thursday class. It's at 11 a.m. and that's it. I'm, that's what I'm doing on Thursdays. And I will do the same for Tuesdays, but I think that one is in the evening. So uh, I almost had the name of that. I know a lot of you are screaming it out. <laughs> I almost feel like looking at my phone, but I wouldn't even know what to search for to see the name of that movie. 
So I do that and I have gotten to know some of the women and it's really perfect for me. I don't have to talk if I don't want to because enough people chat with each other. Sometimes we're all silent. I like that. And if I do want to say something, I'm very comfortable saying something. And uh, yeah, so I have that that I go to every now and then. And then sometimes I just go to the library just to look at books and sit down. You can make puzzles there. Sometimes people have a puzzle already started and I'll sit there and, and try to put some pieces in the puzzle. Very peaceful. Uh, what was the other thing? Okay, and once upon a time I told you about uh, my neighbors and that I was petrified of being bothered by my neighbors. Well, there was two in particular. There was a third one too, but she doesn't bother me at all. She's the one that you would see me walk and she's like across the way. And one time I walked across, you know, in front of her and she came out and said, next time you walk, stop and I'll walk with you. And I was like, what the fuck? It's like, <laughs> but I had a feeling, you know, and she chatted about other things. And I, I had a feeling it was just, you know, how some people just say stuff like that with no intention of ever doing it. Thank goodness. She's never come out and tried to walk with me because that's not what I'm walking for. I want to clear my head and not be chit-chatting with somebody. So, um, and then there was another one who was kind of like made me nervous, but that worked out great. She is somebody that I can just, you know, chat with for 30 seconds and then we're, you know, on our merry way. And she's always walking her dog. So obviously she's got dog duties that she has to look after so she's you know anxious to go into the wooded area so I do have um, and I'm on a first name basis with her her and her dog the woman across the way I think I know her name but uh, I, I don't ever chat with her and then I have my neighbor who lives right next to me and she's an older woman she's 82 and you know at first I thought that was gonna be a problem because I have to walk right by her when I'm going in or out of my apartment and she wants to stop me and the first time she stopped me and insisted that I sit down I was there for an hour and I was like how how do I move away from here but then I said no I can't just keep running away from things because no matter where I move there could be neighbors right so I you know I said I have to just be clear with her and tell her um, you know, when I absolutely can't sit down, uh, that, you know, I just can't sit down. She did an okay job with that. A couple of times I said, you know, I really can't right now. I'm busy working and this and that. And she said, oh, okay, we'll come out later if you feel like it or whatever. And, and, you know, now it's pretty comfortable if I say to her, I can't right now. She understands. She lets me just go on my merry way. And there are times that I actually don't hate sitting down and talking to her. She and I seem to have a lot of things in common and it just gives me someone. But would I be, uh, you know, would my world come to an end if I didn't have a neighbor? No, it's just not my thing. It's just not my thing. And then for a brief moment, I thought of saying, would you like to come to an art class? With? And then I was like, oh my God, don't ever say that. That art class is my safe place. I don't want to, I don't want to get involved with things like that. So, but um, yeah, you know, I, I do have somebody to chat with now and then. And uh, I don't know, I'm trying, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying the best that I can to not be the evil bitch that I am and say, I don't want to fucking talk to anybody. It's not horrible talking to her. Let's just put it that way. It's, it's not horrible. Um, I guess that's about it. I, I feel like I'm starting to get depressing again. <laughs> Last night's video. Oh my God. I'm actually going to save it. I'm going to save it um, just because uh, I don't know. I don't know why, but I, I got like really personal and I just was so sad. I was so sad in that whole video and I'm just going to save it and say maybe someday I can I can look at that and say wow I was sad maybe things will turn around for me I don't know you guys I have to go because I'm going to end up not uploading this either thank you so much for watching I'll be back with more soon bye